A product's design is not about the sum of its features or parts. It doesn't start and end with the actual object itself. It's not just form follows function, that's table stakes. Design is about the experience you're trying to create. You have to understand people, technology and culture and ultimately human emotion to shape something that people love. That they want to interact with. The key to bringing all the components and factors of a product together is context. Understanding the who, what, when, where, and why. All of these factors have an impact on the design decisions we make around a product. Thinking about how people are gonna use this product. We do a lot of research and we find that we have tons of users all with unique subjective ways they use our products. And then we integrate it into the next generation. It's constant evolution. The Pro Mouse provides an obvious example of this process. And that process starts with studying the players, looking at what they're doing. One thing we see often is that pro players use an incredibly tight grip. Well, when you watch a CSGO player and you speak to them, it's all about the consistency of their gear. And they anchor their elbow and make very fast gestures. And they dial the, the sensitivity of the mouse and they calibrate that according to how fast they move to get just the right accuracy and consistency. For these particular pro players, that means that the perfect mouse is a combination of speed and strength. So while we reduced weight everywhere we possibly could, we also increased the thickness of the actual walls of the mouse to make it stronger and have more tensile strength. Designing for context means considering the technological components for a product as well. And that came up a ton when designing the G900. It took us three years and multiple engineering firms across the entire globe to bring everything together to make one device. Weight is definitely a challenge with wireless mice for some gamers. Maintaining a balance between battery life and weight is difficult. Well, with the G900, the first breakthrough was the light speed architecture. That enabled us to get the sensitivity right, to reduce the power consumptions to such a level that we were able to reduce the amount of battery so we could reduce the weight of the product. While still maintaining a very strong RF connection between the transmitter and the receiver. When we designed the G900, we completely revolutionized the standard design of the mouse. Traditionally, you would use a top and bottom case, which is kind of like a beetle, it's an exoskeleton. The outside is the rigid part that supports the insides. But with the G900, we did the opposite. We went with an endoskeleton design. The internal structural component allows us to use really thin wall construction of the outside. We were able to reduce the size of the walls of the mouse to 1.2 millimeters, which is very thin. And we also used a new type of plastic that's essentially invisible to RF, which means it doesn't impede the wireless signal at all. Another very important contextual factor is where. I mean, typically a hardcore gamer will always have like a battle station rig and a dedicated space to play the games that they love. But what we're seeing is that increasingly gamers are being more transient between different spaces and therefore gear needs to actually be appropriate or show up in the right context and not always just be locked to one space. We're rethinking how technology moves through and in the world of gaming and to the greater world beyond. And we're unlocking new opportunities and new technologies along the way. The littlest detail could be the biggest thing for someone, and we don't want to miss that. With every innovation, we're advancing the possibilities of play.